wide receiver. Always staying busy. He's your league leader in receiving yards. It's the Bills and the Texans, and it's all up next. We are about 15 miles south of downtown Buffalo at Highmark Stadium in Orchard Park. Today we've got an interesting Week 11 matchup on tap between the Houston Texans and the Buffalo Bills. Alongside Charles Davis and CD, you look at the Bills in this matchup. Their offense is one that doesn't rely too heavily on just one guy. They like to spread things around as best they can. You're right about that as a diverse unit, and they like to run their offense by what they call game plan, meaning each and every week they study the opponent, they probe its weaknesses, move the ball around that way. They emphasize who's going to get it based on what they think they'll accomplish in that game. Other teams. out to punt here on fourth down. And the kicks away as he angles this one for the sideline. And this one will not be returnable as it sails out of bounds. Out comes the offense for the Bills, led by their quarterback at six foot five. That's Josh Allen. And if you go by the numbers, he's had a Pro Bowl type season. And maybe that's even selling him a little bit short. He's the NFL leader in touchdown passes to this point in the year. And with the end of the season not too far away, he's got his guys playing at a very high level. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 26. Off the play fake, Allen. And this one is incomplete. And after the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. Allen gonna throw. He's got his man downfield. It's Robinson on the move past the 40. And all the way home for a Bills touchdown. Boy, Charles, this offense is just so explosive. They lead the league in scoring. And another example of just how good they are right there on that play. Yeah, we often overstate about how explosive teams are. But this team is truly a threat to score on every snap, especially on the first few plays of any series. And a big strike like that not only adds to their reputation as the league's best offense. Extra point by Kerr, up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. Pretty clean and simple there. Just two plays, the long pass resulting in the touchdown play number two. After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. Well, some might have returned that one. He won't. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start the drive from 
the 25. So now we get set to see Houston for their second drive of the ball game. And they are a game under 500 now following the loss a week ago. And this is a team, Charles, that just has not been able to string victories together. Yeah, they're certainly going the wrong way, aren't they? Because it looked like they have things going in the right direction, but now they've lost two straight. And that means this game is vital, extremely important, because they fall two games below 500. The road back into playoff contention, awfully difficult. A good gain on first, has them set up with second and just a couple of inches now from the 29. They stay on the ground. Again, it's Hunt. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. The tally there, minus two yards, brings up third down. This defense is a difficult one to prepare for, one of the best in the league. They'll come at you from all angles, and they did a nice job there stopping him for a loss. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. On third down, here's Hunt. And Hunt is not going to get there. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. Plays like we just saw there, that's why they're up right now. The defense, they're doing their job. Yeah, it starts with the guys up front, so when you talk with GMs who are putting together a team, a lot of them say, we're going to build from the inside out because if you control the line of scrimmage, you control the rest of the ball game, and that's what we're seeing here. They're actually playing in the offense's backfield, not necessarily just playing at the line of scrimmage. And here now the punter Fox as he sends this one away. And he'll get credit for putting him inside the 20 as the fair catch is made right at about the 19-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and 10. Singletary to get the drive started. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four. Second and six. These are his numbers from last week's contest. 16 carries, 70 yards. Well, to no one's surprised, he gets an early rep right there, and they've been playing their best ball of the season as they built this winning streak. And that includes the ground game, where he's kept the offense productive and put them in position to win ball games. The question now is, can this defense that he's facing do what others have not and finally put a stop to this streak? His first catch, good for eight and a first down. The Bills at eight and two on the year. And they come in as a team that looks like a well-oiled machine getting ready for the postseason. Winners at eight of their last ten. And I thought that they played pretty well last week. Their execution, their discipline, their resilience, all on display in that victory. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and ten. On play action, Allen. That's caught by his tight end, Dawson Knox. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 16 yards there, and the Bills have the first down. Well, as a coach, you absolutely love seeing your offense find their rhythm early, and that's exactly what we've seen so far. They had a touchdown on their opening drive, and now they connect to it for another nice game for a first down. This offense is moving the ball well, exactly as he drew it up in practice. Allen now on first down. Going right back to Knox and again a completion. And he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. It's almost as if they didn't leave the field after their first drive. They picked right up where they left off. Another good throw there. And this offense humming here in the early going. So a first and 10 now in Houston territory at the 43. Now a first carry for their fullback. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. And again, they'll go right back to their fullback. And he gets this to the 35, good for a gain of five. Seventh play of the drive now as they come up on a third and three. They'll try to run for this with Singletary. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. It'll be called a gain of two, and that'll leave him with some options here on fourth and inches. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature in the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. He's able to make a nice play there to swallow up the ball carrier.
Needing the tough yards, they run it with their fullback. And he's able to pick up the first down here before he goes down at the 26. They're able to keep the drive alive. Seven yards that time, and the decision to go for it proves to be a good one. In lieu of the sneak on fourth and inches, they just say, give it to the big man in the backfield. Yeah, fullback no less. Not many of those left in the NFL, but for those that have one, perfect time to use them, perfect time to get it done. So the drive stays alive after the fourth down conversion. First and 10 inside the 30. Allen hit. He lost the football. Points one, two, and three in their defensive game plan was to get to the quarterback and knock the ball free. They did it there. Luckily, offense hangs on to it. Yeah, that's got to serve as a wake-up call, though, because they can't afford to let the ball go over to the defense and miss opportunities. And I'm not saying it happened here, but you know what a good rule of thumb is when a play like that occurs? You know who usually recovers it? The guy who missed his block and let his quarterback get hit. On second and 15 now, Allen. To the sideline, and wow, what a catch there. He doesn't get a lot, but he was able to get the feet down complete. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And that brings up third and a full 10 yards. I do have to admit, I like it when it all comes together. When the top part, catching the football, right, whether you're catching it with your hands or cradling it, comes together with the legs, in this case, the feet, doing a little toe tap to stay in bounds and complete the catch. What a great job. And he's going to be taken down back around the 35-yard line. Nick Benito in there to get him for a loss of nine yards, and that also leads to fourth down. So not only do you not get the first down, but you've also made things a lot more difficult on your field goal kicker. Yeah, they're still in range, but you're exactly right because you know the kicker's over there saying, thanks a lot, you just made my job a little tougher because when he kicks it now, he'll kick it lower because he's got to get more distance. That means there's more jeopardy for the ball to get tipped or blocked. Two knocks this one through the post. The Bills will hang on to their lead. So another scoring drive there, Charles, and an early two-score lead. You'd like the six there, partner, but you take the three, and I think they have to be happy about the way they moved the ball in these first two drives. They have to feel good about their opportunities the rest of the game. And a couple yards deep, he'll go to a knee. He won't return it, and they'll take it out to the 25. And now out comes Houston. They're still in search of an initial first down as they come up here first and 10. Throwing to start the drive. Russell to the sideline. Wow, what a catch. Doesn't get a lot out of it, but he is able to keep the feet in bounds. For Harrison, there's a look at what he did last week. Nine catches, 134 yards. And you know what he did all week in preparation for this one? Hydrated. Salivated. Yes, <laughs> stretched, <laughs> dreamed, going against the last team in the league against the Pats. Yeah. He expects to catch everyone throwing today. You're right, they have struggled 32 of 32 in that category. We then bring out like, the intensity of this defense is showing right here in these first few drives. They're not just holding the line because they're doing their job, and they're doing more than that, aren't they? They're getting a nice push into the offensive backfield. And a great example right there for the loss on the tackle. On third down, Russell. Well, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. He's at it again, Charles. He had the pick six last week. Not a pick six here, but an interception. That's another Oski, because that's the word we use when we intercept the pass. Oski tells your team to rally around and block for you. Now, that worked really well last week because he had made it all the way to the end zone. This week, he got the Oski, maybe not a touchdown, but, boy, he's playing really well. So here are the Bills to take over. They're on a three-game winning streak, and right now looking good in this one as well. Under pressure, and the Texans able to get in there for the sack. It'll be a loss of 10, and it'll bring up second. 
Another try after the first down sack. Allen, and Diggs has it. And he'll be brought down at the 27. And that was yardage that they needed there after the sack on first down. They didn't get all of it back. But now they look at third down as a manageable situation, one that they have a much better chance of picking up. Allen from the gun on third down. And that is incomplete. He didn't just deny a big throw there. He broke that one up in the red zone. An excellent play, one that may help save points on the board when this drive is over. Field goal coming from Young Way Koo. He hit his first one. This from 44 yards out now. Koo knocks this one through the post. And the Bills will add on to their lead. So the interception set him up a terrific field position, but three points, the end result. Yeah, we can make this one pretty simple, partner. You always want to end drives with points, but that's one that you're going to look back on and probably say, we should have done better there. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. The Houston's offense taking over again. Not only are they in search of their first score, they're in search of their first first down in this ball game as they come up first and 10. They'll start with Hunt on the ground, and he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Now a stoppage here as we've got a bill shaken up on the play. We'll check on his status when we return to Orchard Park. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Back to throw. Russell. They'll go screen here to Hunt. And he's going to lose yardage here. Back to his own 18. A yard in the wrong direction. Makes third down tougher. Third down and nine. Well, this defense for the Bills, they were quite formidable in the win over Philly a week ago. And that's not the half of it. They forced seven turnovers in that game. And I know we always talk about turnovers coming in bunches once you force the first one. But seven? That seems almost impossible. But we watched it happen. To throw on third down. Russell. And he's going to be taken down. Plus, there's a penalty flag in the backfield. They may get 15 more on top of this. A bad time for a roughing penalty. And they get the gift of a first and 10. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. That's going to be complete on the sideline, but, you know, that throw left him no room to run, and the good footwork nearly all for naught. Looking to throw on second down. Russell. Under pressure here, and down he goes. Shaq back at about the 43-yard line. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. They just gave up a sack there, and if I'm not mistaken, they gave up four last week, didn't they? Yes. And they're just looking really porous, aren't they? They really are, and I'm wondering if they're going to have to start thinking about keeping the tight end in, maybe a back, someone to help assist, because right now, the quarterback's been getting hit a lot in the last couple of games. An extra defensive back here for the Bills on third down. Looking to throw. Russell. He finds his man complete. It's Lane. Yeah, boy, he had the marker square in his sights, but a good tackle is going to leave him about a yard or so short. It's a pickup of 13, but they're still a bit short, and it'll be fourth down. I think that we all figured when he caught it that short of the marker that the defense almost relaxed and said, we kept this covered, and then all of a sudden, space to run after the catch, and now they're screaming, somebody get him down. Fortunately, they got to him and forced the fourth down. On fourth down, Russell. And it's going to be batted down. It will go the other way with the football. The Texans tried it, but they come up empty here on fourth. And the Bills are going to get the football back. Well, that was too far for a field goal try. You don't really gain a whole lot out of a punt, so I don't think you have much of a problem with that, do you? No, not at all. I think it's the right play, the, the exact right play, because even if you want to play defense and pin them deep, you know how hard it is for a punter to, to knock one dead inside the 10-yard line. That's not it. And now this is intercepted. My goodness. 
And the Texans are going to take possession of the football. And Brandon, this is a real nice job defensively of getting inside a quarterback's head and figuring out, okay, where is he going with the football? Because you can make an educated guess defensively, not all the time, but sometimes. And when you're right, you've got a decent chance of coming away with the football. On first down, they'll run with Hunt. Down right around the 25. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Back to throw. Russell, nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And they have possession, and they have it at the 38-yard line. Allen in the goals now with a first and 10 at their 38. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. To throw again on second down. Allen, middle of the field, it's Robinson. Now he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. The catch and run, good for 24 yards. 13-0 is the score after one on EA Sports. Second quarter now in Buffalo. It's the Bills in control of the football as they've got it with a first and ten. Allen's throw pulled in by Robinson here. And they're going to get this down inside the 15. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because they'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. You can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. So five yards here, five on the play, and it'll be second down. Well, this has certainly been a nice drive with the way they spread the football around. Here, they even get the fullback involved in the passing game. That's got to cause a lot of consternation on the defensive side. You've got to cover him, too. That makes things really difficult. Looking to throw again on second down. Allen. And this throw incomplete. Well, the defender all over him that time, but it's going to lead to third down. The Bills on third down. 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This will be third and 5. Allen. He will find Diggs in the end zone. Touchdown, Buffalo. Stephon Diggs. With career touchdown number 91, he joins a group that includes Tony Dorsett and Isaac Bruce, among others, as his guys are able to push that lead out a bit further. They partner, they found a gap there on the post pattern, and it was in the middle of the field. And that's really difficult to do because ordinarily the safeties are back there to prevent that happening, but they found the opening and exploited it. Crew able to connect on the extra point, and that pushes the lead up to an even 20. After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. And he'll just take a seat, and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. Houston set to take over. And we don't want to call this desperation time, especially in the second quarter, but you're you down. Watch it. Well, no, but oh, let me finish. Okay, my bad. You're down three scores already. You've done nothing offensively, nothing on the scoreboard. That's that's not a good combination. I think you now just you called it. I think you just called it desperation time. I think <laughs> yeah. you did. But yeah. let's face it, you mentioned this to me in a break earlier in the game. The energy level hasn't been there right from the start. We've noticed that. They've got to find a way to get on their toes and start punching instead of retreating to use a boxing analogy. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. They run right side with Hunt. And good penetration here. He'll get this down only to about the 49-yard line. To throw on second down. Russell flushed out right. And that falls to the ground incomplete. 
A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. On third down, Russell trying to lay one up deep. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And, partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. And because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. Throwing is Allen on third. And this pass broken up. Now the contact well timed there, and now fourth down. The Cook now on to punt as he gets this one away. Fair catch called for and made at the 16 or maybe the 17-yard line. A 40-yard punt, no return, and the Texans will take over with a first and 10. To begin the drive, here's a hit, and he fumbled it. It's on the ground. Ballas is picked up by the Bills, and his guys are going to take over at the 21-yard line. And he has been a workhorse for them in this game, and ball security hasn't been an issue until that point. Yeah, and let's face it, when he's going to carry the ball that many times, it becomes more and more of a target for the defense, knowing that he's going to be the primary guy. They'll just send more and more players towards him, trying to make sure they knock the ball free. Here's Allen following the fumble recovery. Robinson's got it. And he'll be marked down right at the 15-yard line. Allen going to give this one to Singletary. Call that a loss of a yard, and things get a little more difficult here. Third and five. And that's what I'd like to see out of this defense, a little fire, a little toughness. It hasn't been the best first half for them, but they did do a nice job there, forcing a loss on that play. They had great starting position to begin the drive, but now they look up at a third and five. Now Allen. Eluding the pressure right. That he is into the end zone for a big ball touchdown. Josh Allen, a 16-yard touchdown run. And the Bills are able to widen their lead here in this first half. Extra point by Kerr, up and good. And the route is on here in this first half. After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. There's the versatile back, Kareem Hunt, getting set with the rest of this offense for the next drive. He's had a good chunk of carries. Problem is for very little success. I don't want to put it all on his shoulders, but that's a big reason they're losing right now. Have to be very careful that he doesn't start pointing fingers. Offensive line obviously trying. The defense is doing a nice job against him today. When it's all said and done, it's all about the guy in the mirror. He has to get it done better going forward. See if he can look and do some soul searching now. And this one will go to the 28-yard line. On first and 10, Russell. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. So now they'll come up on second and 10, once again from the 28. 
Throwing again. Russell. And that'll fall incomplete. He was hit just as he let that go. And now it's third down. To throw on third down. Russell. And the Bills are going to get him as he goes down. It'll be a loss of eight on the sack. And it's going to lead him to fourth down. Jack Fox now gets set to punt. Fair catch call for and made just inside the 35-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt, and they will take over first and 10. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. But the football changing hands here, and as this offense takes a field, Charles, they'd be fine with more of the same on this upcoming drive. Last time out, they found the end zone for six. And they're certainly hoping for more of the same, but the game plan, I doubt it'll just be a carbon copy of the last drive because I think this offense is ready to break out some new wrinkles and try some new things that might be hidden in their playbook. They want to use that confidence to its advantage while also keeping the defense from anticipating what's up next. His first catch, good for nine and a first down. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz game and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A very solid gain of 27. Well, there's your leading receiver in the NFL in terms of yardage, putting on another clinic well over 100 yards. Are we taking notes? We should be, right? Because I'm going to go back and watch this tape and really enjoy what I'm seeing, the route running, competing for the football, just breaking down a defense. So a first and 10 now in Houston territory at the 26-yard line. Play action. Now it's Allen. And he'll get this underneath to Singletary. And he'll be marked down right at the 20-yard line. And they'll use him out of the backfield and sometimes quite a bit. They're just trying to get him touches any way they can. Four catches a week ago, there's another one right there. Working with a second and four. A give up the middle to Singletary. And all the way down inside the five to the four. That one goes for 16 yards. It sets him up first and goal. We both know it's difficult, but they've made it look effortless out there. Through the air, on the ground, they've moved the ball with relative ease. And they'll let the fullback try and take him home. Give him two yards on that one. Second and goal now. And they'll turn to the power game to try to get in. And he takes it in across the chalk for a Bills touchdown. It's the fullback with his sixth rushing touchdown on the year. And the Bills are pouring it on. And boy, that was a heavy set. I think they had three tight ends out there. The fullback, they just, you knew what they were going to do. Yeah, they weren't trying to fool anybody at all, were they? There was none of this show you heavy set, bootleg it out. No, no, no. Big guys up front, hand it to the big guy in the backfield. Coup now for the point after. And the route is on here in this first half. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And it ends with a three-yard scoring run. After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. 
see if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of scalded out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? And he loses the football a second time. Now this is picked up by the Bills. And this is going to be brought back for a Bills touchdown. Now young way Koo for the extra point. And he's been a busy man, five for five now, as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. Fielded just outside the goal line. Kareem Hunt and the rest of the offense making their way back out there. They haven't been able to get him on track. They haven't been able to get this offense on track. No points so far. Maybe it's time to start doing a few different things. Throwing the ball a little bit. Maybe featuring other people touching it for a while. And then you get a chance to come back to it when things have changed a little bit. They have to make it. And now look at this. Big game but a fumble. Now this is picked up by the Bills. And what a return as he brings this all the way back down to the 20-yard line. They'll run on first down with Singletary. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Now a stoppage for an injured player. A lot of people holding their breath on this one right now. That's Stephon Diggs who is shaken up. We'll check on his status when we return to Orchard Park. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. Here's Allen to throw it. And this is caught for a Bills touchdown. A great play there with his 14th touchdown of the year, second of the game. And the Bills are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Two able to connect on the extra point. And the route is on here in this first half. After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. They'll begin the drive with Hunt. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. Second and six, just inside the 30. On the delay, here's Hunt. Now they're going to be dealing with a third and seven. Is that one officially a loss of one? So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. On third down, Russell. And a throw there going to be incomplete. And it leads the NFL in interceptions and nearly added to that total. Got his hand on it, couldn't quite corral it. It's been a Pro Bowl type season for him, and the term ball hawk really comes into play, doesn't it? Yeah, I like that one a lot because teams want to avoid that type of a player, but sometimes you just can't. He just knows where the ball is. Eight yards on the return following a punt of 41. And that will come the offense as they take over. Buffalo offense back out ready to go. Well, everything right now that they touch on this side of the football, it seems to turn to gold. They've scored on three straight possessions. That lead continues to grow. And I mean, if they can get points here, Charles, might almost be an insurmountable comeback for the other side. I think you make a great case for that. So I'm going to flip it over to the other side. Could they make the big comeback? Certainly. Am I expecting it? Not at all. I think if we don't see a drastic change in how they're playing, this blowout's going to get bigger and bigger before the final gun. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. They definitely established a rhythm on this drive, moving the ball quite well. And big man with football is an integral part of the whole thing. On second and one, Allen. It's complete to Robinson. So back-to-back -back plays, each get nothing. And third and one now. Singletary, they'll go up the middle. And he's able to get it to the 31, and that's enough for the first. 
Well, that was big right there because they're the bottom five in the league in converting on third down. They needed that pickup in a big way. There were two things they said they wanted to win in this game. One, the turnover battle, and the second, third down conversions. So they got one there. Now he's able to break through one tackle, but it slowed him down enough that he could only manage getting back to the line of scrimmage. Looking to throw on second down. Allen. That's going to be caught. Touchdown. A great effort there. On his way to a monster game. Three first half touchdowns. And the Bills extend their lead yet again. Extra point by Koo. Up and good. And the route is up. to the touchdown. Cook now to kick this one away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he will make it back to the 15, and that's it. Good coverage there by the kick team. Now comes the Houston offense as they get set to take over here. And last drive, three and out. Still a goose egg on the scoreboard. How do they break that goose egg? They've got to find a way to get the ball in the hands of their playmakers, get them some space, and try and make a first down and get some momentum going. It's been a struggle for them throughout the game, and that three and out on the last possession, that told you just how stalled they are on offense. So who will step up here? We'll see. To the sideline, and wow, what a catch there. He doesn't get a lot, but he was able to get the feet down complete. To throw on third down. Russell. Slam route. He's got Dobbs. And he is going to have a Texans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. They'll look to throw again. He's got Harrison left side complete. Now the Texans will use one of their two remaining timeouts as the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Throw left side complete. That's Lane. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Back to throw again. Throw across his body and it's intercepted. Julian Love picks it. And he'll get this back to the 32-yard line. Carter, I think this will win a lot very simply because he overestimated his arm strength and his ability to fit it any way he wants to. A lot of quarterbacks do that and often pay the price. The Bills going to take over now late in this first half. And with a huge lead already, they may be thinking, hey, our job's complete for these first two quarters. Let's get this to the locker room. So after the INT, it's Allen. Pryor has it complete. That'll go for a gain of seven at its second down. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. A final shot before half for Allen. He's going to take a shot at the end zone. Why not? And that is caught. Touchdown, Buffalo. A big play there. On his way to a historic performance. Four first-half touchdowns. And the Bills will extend their lead on a final play and a half. Two able to connect on the extra point. And the lead grows even larger here. 